Onslow County Sheriff says he takes responsibility for an accident involving his official vehicle. Officials, though, are going by the book with the investigation and bringing in some outside help. Nine on your sides, Camila Barco is live outside the sheriff's office in Jacksonville. Camila, what do we know about the incident? So Angie Ken, Sheriff Hans Miller is promising to pay for damages to his county SUV after a scrape with a fire hydrant. But that means that the county is doing everything right and the case is being overseen now by the Cumberland County District Attorney Billy West. These pictures show the damage done to a 2019 Dodge SUV owned by Onslow County. Sheriff Hans Miller was driving the night of February 9th near Western Boulevard when he says he cut the turn too closely. The Dodge hit a fire hydrant, putting scratches and a hole on the passenger side. Miller tells me the damages were minimal and didn't need to be reported immediately. Our primary issue here is the protection of county assets. Onslow County Manager Sharon Russell learned of the accident late last week. Normally, county employees can be reviewed if they're found at fault in vehicle accidents, but the sheriff is an elected official, so that policy doesn't apply. Even though they, we pay those elected officials and in Sheriff Miller's role, we do provide vehicles. Jacksonville Police investigated and wrote up this crash report. Their results went to local district attorney Ernie Lee. He knew him through their professional capacities, you know, and had for some period of time and would be my office be willing, uh, you know, to review. Lee is sending the case to Cumberland County District Attorney Billy West. But just to avoid even the appearance of any conflict of interest, you know, he wanted to send it to another jurisdiction. West will provide a fair and impartial review of the incident. Miller is promising to pay the full $3,674 for damages. That is the appropriate way for that repair to be paid. District Attorney Billy West says his office has received Jacksonville Police's accident report, but he and his team have yet to review the findings. Live in Jacksonville, Camila Barco, 9 on your side.